Okay, so this is the uh, 180 millimeter micro submarine I got off rcgroups.com from uh, Boredom Is Me, uh, Kevron, I think. And it's very, very small. Uh, perfect size, actually, for what you see. Um, I didn't think this through. Let me set this down. And I'll assemble it. Very well designed. Uh, this is the this is the prototype I got sent, and so it's seen a little damage and some errors that have been corrected on the future designs. Mostly, this does not snap on. It will. Let me show you on on the back here. It snaps on just fine. And then it's got the plugs on the front, and you can do it like this. And then the battery compartment. Again, that there's a, there's a lot of room uh, for customization. It's 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 pretty. It's a very good product. I'm very happy with it. Like I said, I got the prototype and it was uh, used, so uh, there's a little damage here. But it's. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting this thing running. Here's the overall size, and you've got uh, planes in the back. And you've also got this ring to where you can adapt it using a, a different motor. A motor mount is what it is. And the aft hole is for a 7mm motor. I have not verified this, but uh, according to Kevin, it was spot on, so that's really good. Uh, this thing displaces, I'm told, 88 grams, so very, very lightweight. There should be no problems with getting this thing down to neutral buoyancy. The uh, rudder and rear diving planes, you've got two sets here. And the main compartment is probably not watertight as it sits, but I'm guessing you could put some kind of uh, thick grease, maybe axle grease, in between these fittings and make it watertight. Th this thing snaps together pretty solidly, so I'm, I'm going to try that out later on. The rear compartment can be flooded or not. It doesn't really matter since you've got a, a nearly solid bulkhead there. If you fill it up with the aforementioned grease, perhaps I will try this later on. And then a plug in the front, so you can either flood the front end or not. On these very small subs, I've always had the problem of uh, it being too buoyant and not enough room for not enough weight because uh, I've always tried to get dynamic divers. On something this small, you know, you might be able to go static diver. I don't know. It's one of the things I will investigate. And this is a review by Nemo Skull from rcgroups.com.